Second, that's the current, Oba the current Oba of Benin. What he is doing now, that is another spirit of deja vu, a spirit of I have been there before, a spirit of I have passed through this place before. The, the, the continuation of the legacy the, of, of Oba the, Ewari the first. Utaene, you have said it. Now, let us make a little allusion. Compar comp yeah, comparison. Yeah, comparison. Ewai I was a warrior and conqueror. He moved into towns and villages, conquered them, and nursed them, turned the kingdom into an empire. Ewai II, immediately he came on board as Obar of Benin, the 40th Obar of Benin. He stretched the olive branch to all the traditional rulers in Nigeria that we are one and the same of the royal bloodline. Let us be together as brothers so that we can help the government of the day, whether in our different states or at the federal, so that this country can be a better place for us all. That is expansionism. The Benin people regard Ewari and his regime as the yardstick for measuring all other others of Benin, both in prestige and in achievement. They said, Egbewari Agyoba said, Egwari means peace has returned. Ogidiga, the great. The great. Uposisi Naimudagbe, one that no man can dare. Ogudugu Nijebo, Omweso Bekuye. So, all these appellations, he even got an appellation of Ikmia Bokburu, not Boduma. He is known for the fact that Whitlow entered his hand, his, one of his fingers. That instead of feeling this pain every night, he cut off the finger. He cut off the finger. How can Whitlow, a little Whitlow, mm. be threatening him? No, 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 no. He cut it off. Mm. Now, we as a people, as a nation, we believe in reincarnation. We believe that the body dies, but the soul does not die. So in Benin Kidon, we believe in a reincarnation of, uh, of the spirit. Of a soul. Of a soul. A soul must come back. Ewai Ogidi Ganukau, Ewai the first, has returned in the person, in the image, and everything of Ewai Ogidigan the second. That is the current Oba of The current Oba of Bini. Oba Atokwe. Okay. Oba Ewari the first. Yeah. What makes him uh, the great? His proclamations during his time as the Oba of Bini. Oba Ewai Ogidigan. Ekwa Bolulo. Oposisi na Mudagwe. Umoti Ebi na Ebo Kondowe. Ogidigan ne Bono Yerenkwe. Ewai the first ascended the throne of his fathers in the year 1440. Prince Ogun, who was the third son 
of Oba Onhe. His father, Oba Onhe, who became indisposed because of physical features, laid, made a proclamation that his four sons must be Oba at different times. Orobiu, Egbeka, Ogun, Iruge. Orobiu ascended the throne of his fathers after Onhe. And then, after a short while, uh, he passed on. He became an ancestor. And then Egbeka. Egbeka also short-lived. But because of the manner that they were passing on, Ogun and Iruge jumped into the forest. They ran away for fear of the Edion that we are kind of after their lives. Edion will be the chiefs. Edion now are the Uzama, which uh, English language has corrupted to be kingmakers. We don't call them kingmakers because the king of Benin is not made by man. Isaac Morioba Odowa Nokwa and Akidiori. The we are, Edeons, we are predestined. They are predestined. They are predestined to be Oba. The Oba is born. He becomes Oba the very day he is born. He merely waits for his time to come. It's like a man that enters a vehicle from Benin going to Lagos. He is already Lagos bound. He merely waits to get to Lagos and alight. That is the situation of a crown prince and the Oba. Now, after some years in the forest, history tells us it's about 20 years. After some years in the forest, Prince Ogun, who was the senior, asked Iruge, the younger one, you go and see what actually is happening in Benin. If you can, you, you can go into the city, because it is not you they are looking for, it is me, the next in rank they are looking for. Iruge entered Benin from the Okoro forest, entered Benin, and when the, the nobles, the Edion and the chiefs saw him, they were very happy. Because within that period that they were in the forest, a lot of things happened in Benin. That Benin was now praying, looking forward to having a son of the line, a, a, a son of the bloodline. To come as Oba of Benin. And then when they saw Irugi, they asked him, Where is your elder brother? We've been looking for you people. Irugi, Nobioba, we can put the two reasons together for what he did. First, perhaps he was not too sure that if he told the nobles and the chiefs that his brother, was in the Okoro forest, they would go and get him and kill him. Or, for his own personal greed, he told the, the nobles and the chiefs that his brother, Ogun, was dead. He was killed by wild animals. And then, well, thank God we still have one. He now asked the personal guards the personal guards of the Oba, which is headed by a Dogun of Benin, to look everywhere, search all the forests of Benin, look for Prince Ogun and kill him so that he can sit comfortably on the throne. On the throne. With all this happening, Ogun started running from one place to another. That is how he came to meet 
Chief Ogefa Nomwekpo. He ran into Chief Ogefa Nomwekpo's house for refuge. Ogefa Nomwekpo took him in. But Ogefa's wife, because like we say, Ogefa's wife was able to turn the husband's head. Don't you think if we hand over this prince to his brother, we will become bigger and better recognized? And so Chief Ogefa Nomwekpo hid the young prince in a well and covered the place with only horror leaves. But while they were doing all this, Edo, the seventh boy of Chief Ogifa Nomwekpo, heard. And as Ogifa Nomwekpo went to the palace to go and tell uh, Oba Uwefiokun what has transpired, that he had captured. Um, Prince Ogun Edo went to the place and released Prince Ogun. Prince Ogun now left there. That was how he now came to his maternal auntie, Uwaraye. That is the woman that is called a motor. Uwaraye was the wife of Oloton. She was called a nemita, a nomita by the husband because she would not wake up early in the morning, she would not do the domestic chores, she would not clean the house, she would not do anything. But she had one very good habit, attitude, and spirit. Whenever she got to the market, a kyoba, where the statue lays today. That was where her shop was. She would drop her wares, go into the market, get the, all the little children of the other market women, bring them together. That is why today we say, a motor created the first crutch, Montessori crutch in the kingdom. So that's how he started with helping the other women to look after their children. She didn't mind whether she sold anything or not. She would even sell the little, use whatever she sold to make food for the little children, to make them comfortable. But the husband called her a, a nomita, which was now corrupted to a motor. Then, after some time, a mutant was able to help Prince Ogun to the throne. She went to the different native doctors to uh, make divinations, then perform the sacrifice that now made Iw, uh, Ogun to be able to defeat his brother, Uwafi Ogun, and became the Oba of Benin in the year 1440. So what happened to Uwafiokun? Ogun had to kill his brother in a battle. Divinations that was made was that Prince Ogun must make sacrifice at Ugaroba to his ancestors, to his forebears which he did. When he sneaked into it, the young private uh, domestic uh, servants of the Oba went to tell Oba Wafiokun, who now rushed into Ugaroba. There was a duel. And Ogun, having spent so many years in the forest, he had become mystical. He had become mystical. He was very strong. The man who, who turned a big snake, a man that was turned into a snake by the father's wife, turned him back to a human being. That is today, 
the man that we call Ovato Nijeduma. It was while in the forest he encountered Ovato Nijeduma. Ogbede nori okwae. Okwae no jeu. Okunovu. Nigwelaba. And a lot of all these mystical beings. Enekigidi. Nogbeneka. So many of them. So, with, he, with, with his concordance with these people, he acquired knowledge, mystical knowledge. And so, he was able to defeat his brother, Oba Wefyokun, in what we might call a no duel. And after that, he now ascended the throne of his fathers as Oba Ewai Ogidigan. <laughs> I'm not a man of the world, 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 I'm not a man of the world,